this video, we'll look at the screen shadowing feature found in PMC Endpoint Manager. Using a screen shadowing session is great for performing administrative tasks or tech support activities. Let's start up PMC and make some easy configuration changes to enable shadowing on the connected devices. Let me finish getting my credentials in and log into the system. From the menu, navigate to Devices, where you'll see all the connected devices organized in a tree structure. Find the device you want to shadow and click on the configuration icon. Now go to Management. Select this box next to VNC screen shadowing and also the one next to enable VNC screen shadowing. Here you can change the shadowing mode, require permission from the user, and or enable a password. I'm going to enable the password here and we'll use that later. Once this configuration is saved, it's automatically pushed out to the endpoint. It can take up to 30 seconds for the changes to be reflected in the device. Let's verify the changes were successful by going back to the dashboard. In the event log, we can see the first entry shows the changes we just submitted. Let's now go into the administration menu and down to shadowing sessions. Currently there are no shadowed sessions, so let's start one. Go back to the menu and to Devices. Let's enable a shadow session with this online device. Click the checkbox next to the device and then the screen shadowing icon over to the right. The session is going to open up in a new browser window or a tab, depending on your configuration. You can see the counter at the bottom while the session initializes. We will need to enter the password here that we set earlier. Now we are connected to the endpoint and have full control. Now if we go to the settings menu and look under management, you can see the VNC settings we pushed from PMC are now showing up. Let's cancel out of here. Switching back to the PMC tab, let's go back to Shadowing Sessions under the Administration menu. Here is the active shadowing session we just came from. It also records events in the Events log. To terminate the shadow, go back to the Shadowing Sessions screen. Select the session you want to end. We can see that that session is still running in this tab. Click Terminate to end the session. Back here in the Session tab, we can see that it was terminated. Clicking OK will close the session window. Going back to the Audit Events screen, we can see that that shadow was closed. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions about PMC, the shadowing feature, or anything else in computing, come to our website and start up a chat.